The mysterious death of the screaming mummy has been a source of fascination for experts and lay people alike for centuries. The mummy, which was discovered in an Egyptian tomb, has been the subject of numerous theories and speculation. Now, experts believe they may have finally uncovered the facts behind the death of this screaming mummy. So what could it be? Want to know the whole mystery? Stay tuned. Chapter The Myth There's no clear indication as to what is causing the mummy to scream. Some people claim that it was because of the embalming procedure, which might have caused the mummy to scream in anguish during the process. Some people are of the opinion that it was because of the curse that Nesperenub himself had set on the mummy. Due to the fact that the mummy was found in a tomb containing a number of other mummies as well as artifacts, it's also likely that the mummy was screaming out of terror or misery. The image of this screaming mummy has emerged as a popular representation of ancient Egypt, and it has been used in a wide variety of media, including books, films, and television series. In addition to that, it has served as a motivation for numerous terrifying movies and video games. People have been enthralled by the mystery of the screaming mummy for generations and they're still enthralled by it now. The Truth The Deir El Bahari Royal Cache was found in Luxor in the year 1881. This was the location where priests of the 21st and 22nd dynasties had hidden the bodies of royal members from earlier dynasties in order to protect them from grave robbers. One of the mummies that were found in the cache of the Deir El Bahari Royal Cache was given the nickname the Screaming Mummy. Recent research using CT scans and DNA carried out by Zahi Hawass and the scientific team of the Egyptian Mummy Project proved that the screaming mummy is the corpse of Prince Pentuer, the son of King Ramses III, who was forced to commit suicide by hanging as a punishment for his involvement in the killing of his father, King Ramses III, in what is known as the Harem Plot. Prince Pentuer was forced to hang himself as a punishment for his involvement. The body of the murderous son was not mummified and instead wrapped in a sheepskin as an additional form of punishment. This suggests that he was considered unclean and was destined to spend eternity in hell, whereas the bodies of the other mummies were wrapped in white linen and mummified with great care. The same royal stash in Deir el Bahari also housed a mummy of a lady known as the Screaming Woman Mummy, who displayed evidence of fear, suffering and screaming on her face. Her head is cocked to the right and her legs are bent at the ankles while being wrapped in bandages, in contrast with other mummies which have their mouths covered and are arranged in a vertical position. So what is the reality behind the screaming woman mummy? Why was she laid to rest in a manner that was unlike any other mummies that were created during her historical period? Did the screaming woman meet the same end as Prince Pentuer, who was put to death and whose body was not embalmed in a royal manner like that of the other princesses when they passed away? Sahi Hawaz and Sahar Selim, a professor of radiology at Cairo University, collaborated on a study of the mummy and inspected it using the semen CT equipment that is housed at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. This was done in an effort to answer the mystery. The writhing, shrieking mummy of the women is referred to as the royal daughter, the royal sister of Mary Tamman in writings that are on linen scrolls and are written in the Hieratic language. However, the identity of the mummy was not known and it was referred to as the mummy of the unknown woman. This was due to the fact that there were several princesses who shared the same name including Mary Tamman, who was the daughter of a King Sekinendra Tao at the 17th dynasty from 1558 to 1553 BC, and also Mary Tamman, who was the daughter of King Ramses II from 1279 to 1213 BC of the 19th dynasty. The results of the CT scan that was performed by veteran archaeologists Sahi Hawas and Sahar Selim indicate that the woman's screaming mummy is of a woman who died in her 60s, and that her body, unlike that of Pentuary, had received great care from the mummifies who removed her viscera and inserted expensive materials such as resin and scents in her body cavity using pure linen to wrap the mummy. Therefore, it's presumed that the events that led to the death of the mummy of the unknown woman were different from those that led to the death of the mummy of the screaming guy. According to the findings of a computed tomography scan, the unknown woman's mummy had a serious case of atherosclerosis, which impacted a significant number of the body's arteries. Atherosclerosis is a degenerative disease that progressively affects the arterial wall, resulting in a narrowing of the chamber and obstruction of the blood artery. Arteriosclerosis is determined on a CT scan as areas of significant calcification within the arterial walls, which can be identified according to the location of the artery. Previous research that Hawaz and Selim conducted on ancient Egyptian royal mummies revealed that several of the mummies exhibited signs of atherosclerosis. 
The term heart attack was used in ancient Egyptian medicine, and the condition was associated with death. The ancient Egyptian medical papyrus, known as Ebers, provides a description of a physician who practiced over 3,500 years ago. In this account, the physician examined a patient who was experiencing discomfort not just in his stomach but also in his arm and chest. The ancient doctor explained in the papyrus writing that this is the wet sickness, which is akin to a heart attack. You're obligated to let the man know that his end is drawing near. A CT scan of an unknown woman's mummy revealed that she had suffered from stiffness in the right and left coronary arteries as well as the neck arteries, the abdominal and iliac aorta, and the arteries of the lower extremities and legs. Additionally, she had suffered from stiffness in the arteries of the abdomen and iliac aorta. Numerous recent clinical investigations have shown that coronary artery hardening disease is the most common cause of sudden death in adults and that it's also the leading cause of death overall. In such a serious medical condition, similar to the case of the woman's screaming mummy, contemporary medicine advises administering medications that dissolve blood vessel clots in addition to possibly performing a cardiac catheterization. These treatments are recommended because of the similarities between the two cases. This is done in order to either stop or lessen the damage done to the heart muscle. According to the findings of the research that was carried out by Zahi Hawass and Selim, the coronary vascular thrombosis that the mummy of an unknown woman had caused damage to the heart muscle, which ultimately resulted in her passing away unexpectedly. In addition, the research makes the assumption that the princess passed away unexpectedly from a heart attack when she was positioned exactly as she is now, with her legs bowed and wrapped at the ankle. The death caused the head to tilt to the right and the jaw muscles to relax, which opened the mouth. Evidence shows that the death was lifeless for a considerable period of time in the aforementioned position before the body was eventually discovered. The princess's mummy was preserved in this posture for thousands of years due to post-mortem spasticity, which caused the muscles and joints to become rigid after death. The embalmers were not able to successfully seal the lips or place the body in the typical position for burial, as was the case with the other princesses who had passed away. Previous research on royal mummies that Hawass and Selim carried out using CT scans assisted in defining the characteristics of the embalming process used during different dynasties. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, goodbye.